Hi, my name is Nathaniel. Uh, I'm from Team 1712, and we got a request to talk and show about how we assemble our Versa chassis. So once you've drilled all the holes, so we have the two holes to mount the gearboxes to the actual frame. Uh, there's also little cam holes that we have along the side so that when we have the Versa block on there, we can use the cam to tighten up the chain whenever, whenever the chain gets loose. So the first thing I normally do is take our gearbox and unscrew the eye, which will go into this bigger hole. Make sure you drill, make sure you drill this hole to about one and a half inches. Uh, these ones we drilled out to one inch, but that depends on how you would you guys would like it. It depends on team to team and by year as well. So once you've gotten this part off, you may take a hex bearing or a, um, a thunder hex bearing and put it in here. You make sure you've got the right side down. So for example, we've got a drop center on our middle two wheels. And so this is the lower side, so we have to make sure this is on the outside, and we'll stick this through. I like to make sure it's nice and flush and flat against the rail before I attach it onto here. So then you'll take the gearbox, place it like this, try to line up the bearing, and put the block through. Uh, one thing you might want to make sure you have are these two holes. These Make sure that these bolt heads are clear from contacting the frame itself. So you drill, these are 3 8 holes that are open so that these heads can go through. So once you put this inside, everything should be flush and, and you need to make sure that every piece is flat. Okay, once you've got everything flush, you can just take the bolt that it comes with and stick it through. And you can start screwing them in. You can use a um, 1 8 hex, uh, hex wrench to screw these in. Once that is in, it should be nice and flush with everything. Things should be nice. Then we can move on to the Versa block itself. So this actually attaches on by clamping the two blocks together. So it comes with two 832nd bolts that you use to clamp the two blocks together. We use um, thunder hex bearings for the insides of these. So you just take the inside, stick the bearing, the flange bearing inside. And once that is in, you can start placing it. Now it depends because if you flip it one way or the other, uh, one side is offset to the bottom side. So you gotta make sure you've got the right side up. So for example, these two middle wheels are supposed to be the drop center while the other two are higher up. So the way this should go is with the two bumps upwards and so once you've done that all you need to do is just put everything together you take the two you clamp them together and on the left there's an, a through hole that you can there's a through there's a hole that you can put the bolt right through and you can start screwing it through the back and you only do the corners So make sure everything is lined up and as straight as you can possibly make it. And then you may clamp these down. All right. And that's how you get your Versa blocks on. Now you just need to repeat this over and over with the holes and at some point you'll end up with all four on there. So there's the two drop center 
and the two that are higher up. And you can see how right here there's a flat part, and up here there are the two bumps. So that just tells you which side is up and down. And then you can just put on your axles, put on your wheels, and you're all set.